it's a huge portion of the community there. And yet, um, Chad, I guess, excommunicated from the church is our understanding. What, how did all this play when, once this became very public, all these, these beliefs and the things that they were doing? Yeah, you know, the LDS Church has yet to make a statement on it. I don't know if they ever will, but you're right. Like, I think 95%, probably higher, of Rexburg is of the LDS religion. And I've lived here my whole life, and I'm not LDS myself, but I know that this is a completely different level to what regular LDS people practice. You know, there I've never heard a mention of things like zombies and portals and all of these uh, kind of wilder concepts that she's been talking about, but... Locally, you know, I think the consensus around East Idaho is that this is something completely out of the realm of anything any of us have ever heard of or had to deal with. You mentioned the portals. Let's take a listen to Melanie Gibb talking about the portals. They often talked about creating portals. Um, so Chad would explain to Lori how to make a portal so that they could, um, she, hers was in her closet. I think his was on his bed or in his room somewhere, and that they could communicate through some kind of ability to communicate through a portal. Uh, not that you could physically see anything, but it was something that they would make up um, in a spiritual realm in their in their mind, and that they would be able to communicate. Chanley, let me ask you how this is being portrayed, because we're in the prosecution case, right? So all of these things that they're doing and, and the zombies, the portals, the castings, are, is the prosecutor saying that Lori truly believed all this stuff or was just using, like, making this stuff up and using it as a way to manipulate and control situations and people and get people out of the way? Well, based on opening, it seemed like Lindsey Blake was going in the direction that they used their religious beliefs to get what they wanted, the power, the money, the sex. That was how they justified 